Hey folks, my name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. I am doing a faux live. This is a pre-recorded video. I'm going to show you new stuff we got in for the website and some restock. If you're interested in anything on the website that I show you, hashtag website all together, one word, um, in the comments and we'll send scrappiesrustics.com to your private messenger. So let's get on with it. I even have a couple examples to show you guys. I'm just trying a little something different. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Could be a flop. Could be great. I don't know. Maybe somebody doesn't want to see papers. They can just skip on to what's next and because uh, we kind of have things in categories. So first off, I got a good pile here. Y'all, we got some good stuff. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to show you, but like every day something's coming in, something's coming in. So it's kind of a lot. So I'm going to try to go through it real fast. This is a restock. I am an IOD stockist. This is the trimmings two mold trimmings two mold. I don't know if my if I'm flipped on pre-record or not. I think I am, but I don't know. But this is the trimmings two mold. It can be used with resin, clay, fondant, baked cookies, glue, uh, whatever you fancy. Again, another mold. This is the trimmings one. Um, and if yeah, trimmings one. If you notice, the have uh, it broken here. So if you want to do one continuous line instead of being flat to flat. They curve into one another so it looks like seamless so that's a definitely great feature same with this one the points there so it feeds right into that so that's a great feature as well this one has it too um, but you can't oh well, yeah you can see it see down there see that there so that one would feed into the top that you can't see so that's trimmings one trimmings two iod is iron orchid designs this one is the olive crest the olive crest y'all this one has been very popular for different reasons these i see are used a lot this is used for like a label like on a crock you just stick a number in there or decoupage something on there this is the olive crest and uh this is the horse and the hound these are all restocked the horse and the hound the horse has such amazing the, the a fox does too and i haven't used it yet but the details are unbelievable in there some acorns some good stuff in there and uh, IOD also has the micro rim see where it's lifted there so when you do clay it really helps to clean off your edges to have that micro that micro edge it's the only mold that has that it's a patent pending this is the Florida Lee this is like a old classic you know never gonna die kind of oh, I guess I don't know which the rabbits upside down if I do it that way but a couple a little bit of everything in here Florida Lee some hearts some uh, rooster <laughs> a bunny all kinds of crazy stuff fire acorn one of my favorites wings and feathers y'all look at the details in those feathers um, I'm sorry well the feathers have a lot of details but the wings I don't know if I've ever used maybe one feather maybe something like this I've used but I haven't used a lot of them we need to do that because the details are great the wings are great they're good size and lastly for restock is the frames mold these are all just restock we were either out or low so this is the frames too. These are great too, because if you can see the different depths, especially like that one, um, you can do different designs. Like this one, you can get one mold out of, two molds out of, however you want to fill this, you can get different different styles of mold. You can just fill the outside of this one and not the, the middle to leave it open. Same, same with this one, actually same with all of them. So however you want to do it, you can fill it full and end up with a full mold or like open like a frame. So that is the restock on the molds. Let's put those aside because I got a lot to do. We went out really quick of the vintage textures. Y'all, this is an excellent, excellent stamp, especially if you're starting out and you really like rusty, rustic, grungy type. It's a quick down and dirty way to just get um, get that um, that rustic look that you want quick and it, it, it's easy and there's no mess. And what I love about this is they used to have four huge 12 by 12 of almost everything you see here so you had a huge 12 by 12 of this huge 12 by 12 of this uh, i mean you can only use so so much crackle so they divided it into diff four different ones and these are actually these are actually all individual um so you got your crack i think they call this crackle um uh what is this one um the <laughs> the crack is it crackle i can't remember um my brain's going blank right now but there is a name for each of these and right now my brain is just not having it so anywho good grief but these four these will not come apart so you can just use them like around the edges of a, a picture or whatever you fancy whatever you can use paint you can use bleach you can use uh ink whatever you fancy there all right i'll show you these papers in a second just got a few uh actually this is the iod spring uh new release i didn't get many 
Um, but I got enough. We got so many decoupage papers, but we were out of stock of this. This is the, um, uh, the Redow 2, the Redow 2. This is an eight page transfer book. This is also IOD, which is Iron Orchid Design. Y'all, this one has so much meat in it. If you're a red lover or rose lover, it's just absolutely stunning. It's eight pages. I see people use this one year round and it's very popular, believe it or not, at Christmas time to put in with their Christmas, whatever they're making. Their one always shows up. And my all time favorite, y'all can believe we almost ran out of these. I would have, I would have cried. The Brocant. I love this one. This is eight pages as well. And I love this one so much because like this one, it's eight pages. It's beautiful, but it's all roses where this one is a little bit of everything for every one. So this is eight pages and you get, I mean, just, just a variety of everything from little farmhouse to uh, French country, to a clock, to Paris, to birds. Those birds are great. Uh, sheep, roses, bees, all just a little bit of everything. This is a fantastic transfer if you're just starting out. Again, if you're just um, seeing this video and you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm showing you restock and new stuff we have on the website. If you type in hashtag website in the comments all together, it will send scrappiesrustics.com to your private messenger. And if you've never ordered from me, it's a work in progress. Um, you will be charged $16.50 at, sh um, at checkout for shipping. But as soon as I pack up all your goodies and I print out and purchase your, um, your shipping label, I refund you the difference. It depends what you bank or what you use. Sometimes it's immediate. Sometimes it's up to two to three business days. So just know that you will be refunded the difference for your shipping. It's a work in progress. Y'all, I think it'd be easy to just to, uh, you know, here's, here's how shipping works. Yeah, no, it's like this. It's a big project. Cheers. Oh, cheers. A little afternoon coffee. All right, so this is the new IOD spring release. No, decoupage clean <laughs> spring release. Um, I should have gotten them last week, um, but I had ordered them so long ago that I had my old address. So we get to take a tour around the state of Florida. So I go by numbers and on the website, these can be found under decoupage papers. And this one is 0431. 0431 and this has four different uh types of styles in it we have a little jesus we have some angels we have some vintage ch children and then we have a little bit of grain stripes with some farm animals so that one's got a good a, a good amount of variety in it for you that one is zero four three one so i can't see close up in these glasses too good let me turn this way so you can't peek <laughs> oh you can't really see anyways can you all right this one is zero 422. Now, some of these images that I just showed you on this one, actually all of these images that come on this one come in full size. However, I don't have all of them. I didn't get all of them, but I did get some of them. So this one is 0422. 0422. Grain sack with the bunny. Oh, I love the grain sack. I can never get sick of that. 0422. This one is beautiful. This one is 0420. Coach House Cottage. 0420. Look how pretty that is. 0420. Definitely a year round paper. Screen shabby chic. 0420. This one I'm in love with as well. I've actually got it out over here to do a project with. 0412. 0412. Spring stripes. Love it. I love it. Just stripes and grunge and just looks old. I love it. I love it. 04. What did I say? 0412. Uh. Let's see, zero, no, zero, three, zero, three, nine, one, zero, three, nine, one, the old goat in the barn, zero, three, nine, one, he's cute, another grain stripe with the cow, zero, four, two, three, zero, four, two, three, he's cute, look at his face, uh, zero, four, two, three, I like that gray uh, pinstripe, as, or grain stripe as well, this is zero, four, two, four, same grain stripe with a lamb, 0424, kind of purplish, kind of purplish. And another one, 0425, love the green, Ooh, little chickadees, 0425, the green. I like the green and the yellow together. It's like a vintage. And then we got the same grain stripe, but nothing in it, so you can put whatever you fancy in there. And that's 042, I think that says six, 0426. 
0426. Oh, I got a dent in 0426. You can put whatever you want in there, if anything. Nice mold. And lastly, oh, look at this. All four of them in smaller size, 0427. 0427. Okay, so that's it for that. That's the Decoupage Queen Spring Release. Um, if there's any other papers that you want that you see, you can always message me. And you can message me anyways because a lot of times I don't see the comments. Show, Facebook doesn't show them to me or who knows what. They get lost. Um, if you need, need something special or a special size, I can certainly check and see if they have it. And if they do, I can order it for you most of the time. Only certain papers come in um, certain sizes. So um, let me show you. So we got a big pile of uh, faux vintage papers. Faux vintage papers. You know, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> that cup of coffee, that one sip of coffee. Um, I should have written down the names of these because it, I think on the website it goes by like 25 pieces, 40 pieces, 50, and so on like that. But they don't have names written on them. So I know this one says something lace. So this one is something lace. I, yeah, I should have written down how many pages these are and I don't know. I don't know, but it says on the on the website how many pages it, that, that are in here. And this one, I want to say this one is 40, but I could be wrong. But this is basically just little papers. It's funny because they kind of smell, they kind of smell like tea. Like, you know, like you ever been to a tea shop? <laughs> I don't know why, but they're all, you get a couple of the same and then they switch. I think it looks like you get four of the same and then they kind of, I'm just going to go through these quick. There is more pictures on the website. Um, let's see how many you get of each. One, one, two, three, four, five. So you get five of each, five of each. Yeah, oh, we didn't even see that one. That one's really pretty. Um, yeah, five of each. Just a nice little subtle background, um, you know, for our little projects, <laughs> for our little projects. Here's another little guy. Uh, I don't think, well, I'll open it. Here's a, this is what it looks like here. Or maybe it's, I don't know which way it goes that way. And this is, this is basically, well, I better open it. I better open it. I better take these out of stock. So, y'all, that's where I usually really mess up is I'll, I'll take something out and not take it out of stock. Oh, that's bad. All right. So it's a little, it's not really a book. They're just kind of tied in there. Let's see what we got. So we've got some script. Okay, different script, different color pages, different style of script. Uh, oh, that's pretty. Uh, just like, oh, look at that. That's pretty yellow. Just uh, vintage-ish, <laughs> faux vintage. Ooh, well, I like that. It looks like their pen was leaking. <laughs> and so a variety of that. Let me see how many you get. One, two, three, four, five. Is that the same? Looks like you get six, six of the same uh, for that. Like I said, I, I don't know what they say on the website. This one is longer. It's like the same concept. This one is longer and you get that style on the back. Can you see those? Again, I don't know how many pages. But the heading, the heading of each one um, starts off with a page number, right? So again, it's not a book. It's just kind of in there. So let's see. Ooh, we had something similar like this. And some of these are random. Some of them are a little bit different. They're the same size and same amount, but some have different pictures on them. So if it says random, you may not get this exact one, but I don't know which ones I got, which ones are random and which ones are not. So let's see what we got here. Let's see. Again, ooh, oh, we might have to take a better look at that. Let's see, cold handle, sad, sad irons, detachable walnut. Oh, it's an old fashioned iron <laughs> with a walnut handle. Let's see, oh, hold on. My flicking, my flicking isn't doing good. Let's see. Whoa, 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 oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. The imp some kind of printer, some kind of printer. Let's see what else. I feel like now, now I gotta look at these guys. <laughs> now we gotta look. All right, we get some soaps. We saw the typewriter. Get some soaps. Looks like you get, oh, my, one of my favorites coming up. Looks like you get three of each of these. Look at this one, the beehive clothing. I love that. Have, yes, it looks like you get three of each. The printer. Let's turn those over. No, I can't believe that one cup of coffee is making me sweat. 
I don't know what that is. It's like a washing machine of some sort. I don't know. I'd have to read it. There's another printer, but it's just a little different. Nothing, just script. Looks like a ticket. Looks like an old receipt ticket. Ooh, a washboard. Crescent washboard. Oh, these are good. These are really good. Bicycle. I did not know. Oh, wait, is it repeating? Oh, and it repeats. And it repeats. Okay, so that means you get, it repeats the whole, the same thing over. So that means you get six. Oh, it's a different color paper though. See the typewriter? It's a different color paper. I see. Okay, so you get six, but it may be in a different color. Different color paper. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. My clothes are falling. <laughs> Y'all, I love this blouse. I got it at Marshall's, I believe. And I just think it's the prettiest thing. But it just doesn't want to. I, I need like a little pin or something, I think, right here. Like a little, like a little, something right there. I think that will hold it so it stays on you. Isn't it adorable? Like, I just love it. I love the, sorry. All right, carry on. Shut up and show the goods, lady. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, I'm not going to open this one. We've had this one on the website for quite some time. I want to say this is like 57 or 60 pages. And these are random as well. So this little bit of this picture might be something different, but it's like the same thing. So you get a ton of those, but it's all like this. It's all like dictionary type book papers so that's a pretty thick one and they're pretty it shows the sizes on there inch inch wise um both ways both ways this one also uh we've had on the website for quite some time um this is random to the top colors it'll be just like vintage type papers just kind of like what we're looking at just a different style and a different size and there are pictures in the um in the description of what those are and uh we got these back We've had these. This is, I know this one's 10 pages. Um, these are random as well. There's this one, and then there's one that says Walmart on the outside. Um, I'll, sh well, yeah, I'll show you these. Because these are pretty good. These are pretty good. This is the one. Let's see. I think, yeah. So they're all like old vintage, um, vintage ads, like out of, out of the old newspaper. But they're pretty good size. These are probably the biggest ones we have. But you, you get 10 of them. You get 10 of these. Yeah, old newspaper ads. So they're kind of cool. Look at that one. How cool is that? Look at her bonnet. Holy cow, can you imagine wearing that thing? <laughs> oh, I can't quite read what that is. But that's pretty neat looking. Yeah, these are cool. Look at the corset. I love stuff like this, you guys. I just love it. It's like, oh, there's an old grocery ad. White potatoes, 10, 10 pounds for 79 cents. Holy, oh, A&P. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Okay, so there's this one, and then there's, I, I think there's two different styles for this one. There's this one, and then there's the one that, um, what did I say? It says Walmart. I don't know if it's Walmart. Now I can't think what it is. But they're just like this, but it's different, different images. So you get the skinny. All right, here's a... There's this one, this one has like colors in it. This one is different, different styles of paper, um, which is different from anything that we've seen here. Take this thing off. Take this thing off. Well, I can't have every single thing, every single paper to myself. So here's these. Let's see. Let's see if we can file through them. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's that, I'm going to say this wrong. Vellium, Vellium, <laughs> Vellium. It's that belt. I can't say it. That paper, hear it? That noise where you can kind of see through it. It's used, a lot of people use it for junk journaling. I don't know what it says though. Oh, it's got a typewriter. It's ads. It's, it's ads. So you get some of that in there. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Newspaper ads, French newspaper. Mm, French newspaper and the Vellium, Vellium, fancy paper. And, okay, so it looks like there's a one of these papers for every um, paper paper. 
so it goes like that. Um, that's pretty cool. I don't really know how to use that paper. I think it's supposed to be like to go over something to make it opaque, but I'm not 100% certain on that. All right, couple more. Save the best for last. <laughs> Save the best for last. Y'all, I gotta tie my hair back too. Oh, I'm a mess, I'm falling apart. I wanna take, drink some more coffee, but I'm sweating, holy smokes. I feel like my hair's growing as we're, uh, my hair's poofing out as we're here uh, filming. How do you open this one? There we go. This one is, um, you know, I love this stuff. I, I, I should just wallpaper my house in this stuff. Between, <laughs> between uh, these and the tapestries and the, and the millets transfer, my goodness, I could literally do the whole house in this kind of stuff. All right, so what, why is that shiny? Oh, <laughs> it's a piece of paper. I mean, a piece of whatever. Okay, so these look like they're all different. God, they're pretty. I can't really thumb through these because they're kind of thin. And look, the edges are already torn for us. That's nice. Yeah, these are all different. And if I were to guess, there's probably 20 or 30 here. So that's four of them right there. So they're just different images of flowers. They're really pretty. Okay, so you get the skinny, and then there's more. Ooh. Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty. That's pretty. Yeah, cool. Those are cool. I'm gonna have to keep one of those for myself. I don't have to keep one of the, those for myself. Hey, do you get to keep the butterflies? See the butterflies on there? I didn't even notice them. That's funny. Oh, I see. They try to trick you like the butterflies are on the paper. I bet you could use those though. Okay. These are cool. It says, oh, I gotta open it. That's what it looks like. These you can tell, obviously, on the deco papers. Deco papers. These smell like tea, like a tea house as well. Just like tea, like Tetley tea. <laughs> what they smell like is Lipton tea. That's the smell I'm going for. So these are all little pages as well. I don't know if we can finger through them. I can let you know how many you get of each. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 y'all. Oh, these are good. Oh, what's that? Oh, butter. Oh, it's upside down. Butterflies. Oh, look how pretty he is. Look how pretty that is. Aw. I heard I had that this way. I could tell you how many you get of each. But as you can see, there's a variety of. Look at the little baby angel. Angel baby. Let's see. One two, three. So it looks like you get three of each. Three of each. Look how pretty that is. Jeez, you could have stick that one in a frame. It looks like it's already done for you. Three of each. And those are deco paper. Deco paper. I'm sure I'll have fun putting all those. Well, I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep a couple of those. And lastly for the papers is this one, which... I don't know what it says. It has an envelope, which is interesting. Oh, they're in an envelope. Oh, so it's that Vellium. I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Vellium, oh, Vellium. Oh, how the heck do you get these open? Okay, so you get an adorable envelope. Yeah, the roosters are going nuts out there, you hear? <laughs> something in here. Oh, you get a bunch of little, oh, there's more stuff in here. Okay, so you get the envelope. That's just a cardboard. That's not part of the envelope. Um, you get all kinds of random stuff in here. Little tickets. This would be great for the junk journaler. I don't know what those are. Little tags. Just the same little tags. These are cute. Oh, a bunch of little. This would be cute just to add to, um, you know, just like a mixed media type of. I don't know how to say what those are. Just add little embellishments here and there. To have random. You got a random stained uh, <laughs> round thing. These are cute. 
little more tickets. Oh, you know who that is? We have this, you can barely see it, but there's a bull in there. We have this, this decoupage paper. It says something Walker or something like that. Maker, I forget, but we have a big decoupage paper like that. Aw. Looks like you get two of everything. Two of everything. So it's all kinds of random. I gotta leave some for surprise for you. Little bookmark size. Um, more bookmark. Another round thing. Hydrangeas. And then, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Just different size papers. Different different colors, different images. Looks like you only get one of these each. Yeah, only one of these each. Okay. 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 Oh, I got these all mixed up. Let me put these back. Don't want to lose any. <laughs> I don't want to lose any. Okay, so that's that. All right, and lastly, I have some pre-made molds. Um, and, oh no, two more things. So I do have some pre-made molds, but I got a few new Pentart. I'll show you those last because I got some experiments. I've been, I experimented last night on some stuff because I don't know how to use this stuff. Like it's all new to me and I watch what I can. And um, some of it's really cool. You know, why I like to do that. I like to, especially with the Pentart because the directions never tell you what to do or how to use it. So um, I usually get like most of these, I got five of each just to try it. So there's really only four available. Because sometimes it's like that image transfer, um, the quick image, I still haven't gotten that to work, but I do need to revisit it. But I like to order just a few, test it out. If it's great, good, we'll get more. Um, and if it's junk, then it's, you know, or it's not for us. I shouldn't say junk. <laughs> if it's not for us, then we don't get any more. 